How to connect the limit switch with timer so that on operating limit switch countdown of timer gets started and after completion of countdown whatever time we set the load connected will be automatically turned off. So today in this video we will learn how this limit switch can be connected to on delay timer so that our load will be automatically turned off. So friends let's start the video. The timer which I am going to use in this video is manufactured by CNC company and you can see the model number here. This timer which I have now is known as multifunctional timer. If you want to use this timer as an on delay timer then what you have to do is rotate this knob and select to E position. E means on delay timer. It means when you provide pulse signal to this timer countdown will be started. If you use normal on delay timer then at A1 and A2 terminal of this timer always power supply is required. But in this timer only pulse signal is required to start the countdown. How this timer work you will understand later. For now what I will do is I am taking this 2 pole MCB and through this MCB we will provide power supply to the timer. At the neutral terminal of MCB connect one end of a wire. Other end of the wire is to be connected at A2 terminal of the timer. Now for phase supply connect one end of wire with MCB and other end of the wire is to be connected with A1 terminal of timer. Now this timer needs to be operated through limit switch. For this what we will do is at the NO contact of this limit switch connect two wires. I already connected two wires. Connect one of the wire with timer. You can see S terminal over timer. At this S terminal you have to generate signal. So connect this end of wire with this S terminal. Take another wire of limit switch and connect with A1 terminal of the timer. Now I want to glow this lamp through this timer. For this what I have to do is the contact of this timer you have to use NO contact among these. When you look at this timer here 15, 16, 18 three terminals are present. Among these 18 and 15 number terminal is for NO contact. What I will do is phase supply wire of the lamp is to be connected with 18 number terminal of timer. At the common terminal of this timer that is 15 number terminal we have to provide phase supply. For this I am taking one end of the wire and connecting to this 15 number terminal. Other end of the wire is to be connected with phase supply terminal of MCB. Take this neutral wire of the lamp and connect with neutral supply of the MCB so that through MCB lamp receives neutral power supply. For operating timer through this limit switch the connections are now completed. Let's have a quick review to the connections we have done. See if you want to operate this timer then you have to provide phase supply and neutral supply to this timer. So what I did through this MCB I provided phase supply and neutral supply. To operate this timer you have to also provide pulse signal. To provide pulse signal I am using this limit switch. The limit switch has two wires. One of them is connected at A1 terminal and another wire is connected at S terminal. After this at NO contact of timer I connected this lamp so that lamp can be operated through this timer. Now if I turn on this MCB, after turning on MCB when I operate this limit switch you can see our lamp turned on. I programmed 10 seconds in this timer so after 10 seconds lamp will be turned off. You just saw that lamp is turned off. Listen one more time. If any target operates this limit switch then load will be turned on and this load will remain on only for 10 seconds because we programmed 10 seconds in this timer. After 10 seconds load will automatically turn off. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you like this video do like and share this video. If you didn't subscribe please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.